In a letter to the Director of Criminal Investigations, Ndegwa Muhoro, from the Director of Public Prosecutions, Keria Kotobiko, and copy to the Inspector General of Police, David Kemayo, the DPP directs that further investigations be conducted into the incident that saw a letter threatening to kill the Chief Justice delivered to Willi Mutunga. This had been preceded by an incident at the JKIA where the CJ had been barred from travelling by an immigration officer on grounds that he lacked clearance from the head of public service. The letter proceeds to detail four reasons for fresh investigations focusing on specific areas. That investigators failed to follow up and obtain a statement from the holdover Twitter account at Macau Mutua. This is because material differences exist between the tweeted letter and the original. Further investigations were not done to establish the ownership of the account under the name at Macau Mutua. Investigators failed to convincingly prove the possibility that a postage stamp was removed at the sorting process at the post office, locking out a crucial lead in the investigations. And the conclusion that the letter may have originated from the judiciary staff discontent about ongoing reforms is not supported by any evidence. This offers grounds for further investigations into judiciary staff. The CJ mentions attacks on judges, yet the report does not indicate whether these were investigated by police or not. This is despite the CJ drawing a link between the attacks on judges and the letter. Grounds the office of the DPP says warrant further investigations by the CID into the letter. The office of the DPP recommends that the head of public service, Francis Kimemia, issue a letter clarifying his position on the need for senior officers to obtain clearance in order to travel. This, it is felt, would avoid the embarrassing situation that caused delays on the travel by the Chief Justice at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Chris Ongombe, Citizen, at one.